Hello friends. Today we will be discussing Regulating Act 1773. What is the importance of this act? And what is the background of this act? We will discuss today. British came to India or you can say East India Company came to India in 1600. And the purpose of East India Company was to create business empire in India. In the initial stage, British East India Company was interested to do business in India. However, by the passage of time, East India Company, apart from business, tried to influence local people, Jamidars, kings, and try to interfere in political affairs also. And as a result, this East India Company became monopoly, or you can say uh, sometimes arbitrary decisions were taken by East India Company. So for that reason, after 173 years, or you can say 173 years, because you know, British came to India in 1600 and this regulating act came in 1773. That means you can say after 173 years. Why it is so late? Because very simple, East India Company came to India for doing business, but after few years, they tried to influence, they tried to influence the local jamidars, political affairs, and everything. For that reason, they were making money, wealth, and taking bribes, and they were involved in number of, uh, you can say, uh, you know, what is, uh, you can say, not necessary for society, they were in that cases, they were involved. For that reason, British government decided to regulate, to control East in a company. For that reason, 1773 Act is known as Regulating Act. Let's discuss what are the features of this Act. Before going to the features, we have to remember one point that under this Act, 1773, centralization, centralization started in India. And later on, we'll discuss that the final stage of centralization was taken in 1833. So anyway, under this act 1773, centralization started and that was ended in 1833. Anyway, this is the beginning of actually 1773, this is the beginning of company rule in India. We know in history, British government or British rule in, in India can be divided into two parts. One is company rule, next one crown rule. That means you can say each and a company was ruling India for uh, you can say till 1857 and since after 1858 till 1947 when India got independence. Uh, we can say that was crown rule. So two parts, one is company rule. 1773 till 1857, Sipai Mutiny, and in 1858, Crown Rule started, and finally, we got independence in 1947. So, anyway, we are talking about this act. First thing is that centralization started in India, and features we'll be discussing the features. First feature Governor General of Bengal. Governor General of Bengal became, you can say, Governor Governor of Bengal became Governor General of Bengal. Are you getting my point? Governor of Bengal became Governor General of Bengal. That means there are three presidencies, presidencies Bengal, you can say Madras, and Bombay. So Bombay, Calcutta and Madras, you can say, three presidents were there and 
Bengal was the center of all powers and all activities at that time. So, first time under this act, 1773, Warren Hastings became Warren Hastings became Governor General of Bengal. This is the point we have to remember. And four member, four member executive council, or you can say executive council was created with four members to assist Governor General of Bengal. This is the point you have to remember. First point. Second point is this regulating act tried to stop taking bribes or those officials, British East India Company officials, they were taking bribes, gifts, wealth from local people, right? That was checked. Corruption that was checked by this act. This is the second point we have to remember. Third point is Supreme Court was established under this act. Third point, Supreme Court was established under this act at Calcutta. And John Impe, John Impe was the Chief Justice of Supreme Court at that time. You know, Supreme Court became federal court and in 1950, uh, after getting independence, it is now Supreme Court of India. It is located in Delhi, in anyway, headquarters. Actually, there is only one uh, Supreme Court in India, and that's in uh, New Delhi. But anywhere Supreme Court can sit, we'll discuss in later lessons. So anyway, third point over. Fourth point is, we have to remember that it strengthened the British government to create one body called Court of Directors. So Court of Directors was created because, you know, Court of Directors was created because normally in company you'll find directors. So each company was a company, right? So in that company you'll find Court of Directors, which is very essential because you see Court of Directors was a group of uh, directors, they are sitting, discussing, taking decisions for the welfare of company, welfare of uh, uh, British government. Actually, there was no such welfare. They were exploiting India, whatever the historians say. Anyway, in this court of directors, all those civil defense, everything was reported. This is the thing you have to remember. And another point you have to uh, understand that under, you know, last point, Bengal Presidency, under Bengal Presidency, Bombay and Madras, there were three presidencies. Now we have to remember that under this act, under Bengal Presidency, Madras and you can say uh, uh, Bombay Presidency, they came under. That means the powers of Bombay and Madras that came under uh, jurisdiction of Bengal Presidency. We have to remember that. But before this Regulating Act, before this Regulating Act 1773, Bengal, Madras, and Bombay, three presidency, were independent of power and their activities were independent. That's the thing you have to remember. So now let's summarize or take the gist of this act. First point, you have to remember, Warren Hastings became Governor General of Bengal, number one. And Executive Council was created, four member body, done. Number two, you have to remember that East India Company, those corrupt officials, they were checked. That means taking bribe, wealth, gifts were prohibited. Third point, under this, under this Bengal, uh, under this act, Bengal presidency, under this Bengal presidency, Madras and you can say Bombay, they came under, right? That means powers were concentrated in Bombay presidency. Next point is, you have to remember that uh, Supreme Court was established at Calcutta. These are the points you have to remember because uh, most of the times uh, these are asked in exams and for general 
readers and uh, those who are interested to learn the historical background of this uh, uh, act they should understand this is all about 1773 regulating act so in the later video we'll discuss you can say peers india act right so why peers india act was created and uh, what is the importance of the this we'll discuss in later series thank you very much wish you happy learning thank you